Welcome back, Pipers. Hoppington Piper Kevin here, coming to you from the heartland of America in Missouri, and today we are going to review Cornell and Deal's Haunted Bookshop. <laughs> this is a very special blend to a lot of very special people, and I am excited to share with you my experiences with this blend at this point. It is primarily a burly mixture. It does have Perique, though, and it also has some Red Virginia in it. We have a scale here on the Hobbiton Piper channel <laughs> of your high grassy citrusy blends and then your more medium bodied blends. And then we have our more deep dark blends down here. Well, Haunted Bookshop is somewhere underneath this table. <laughs> it is dark. It is a dark blend, and you need to be expecting that when you fill your bowl with this one. It's named after a suspense novel that was written by Christopher Morley in 1919, and it was titled The Haunted Bookshop. I've not read the novel, but regardless, um, the name of this tobacco is just perfect <laughs> for the experience that you get when you smoke this blend. It's, it's a dark, mysterious blend. So I've already loaded up my Savinelli 673KS Roma Lucite because, of course, I did. And let's get this lit and let's get this review started. As soon as I talk to you first about the 10 note. Now, as you know, when I reviewed Prince Albert, which you can find all my reviews in the Pipe Tobacco Review playlist, um, I smell cocoa on, on the Prince Albert 10 note. I know some of you do not, but I do, and I know many of you do also. So everyone's different, right? All a reviewer can do when they share their review of a tobacco blend with you is give you their personal experience and hope you enjoy listening. And my personal experience with Haunted Bookshop's 10 note is very specific for me. And I would love for you to have the opportunity to smell this blend as well and see what you smell. But I immediately smell chocolate raisin bread. Have you ever had a bread that's has raisins baked into it. Well, I've actually not only had that, but I've had like a chocolate version of that where it's like a chocolate bread with those raisins baked into it. This reminds me of that. The 10 note is really actually surprisingly amazing. It's it's that it's that chocolatey raisiny bready 10 note. Oh, it's really good. It really is. Now let's get this lit. And then we'll talk about what you might can experience while smoking inside this haunted bookshop. One of the reasons why I think this is so perfectly named is you can literally almost picture yourself walking up to this old library or bookstore at night while you smoke this. There are two very specific scenes in The Lord of the Rings, The Fellowship of the Ring that I'm reminded of as I smoke this. The first is when Gandalf is trying to determine if this magic ring that Bilbo has left Frodo is the one ring. And he rides off to Minas Tirith and enters this old, what appears to be library, just filled with parchments and old tomes.
and you can tell it's just ancient writings and there's just dust everywhere and everything's candle lit and he's scouring over these pages the mustiness that he must have been smelling in that room right and then there's a second scene in that same movie where they as a group the fellowship enters Balin's tomb and Gandalf picks up this old thick tome it's called the book of Marsable And in order to even read it, he opens it up and the pages crack and he has to, he blows on it. He blows on this tome <laughs> just to be able to read it and, you know, dust goes in the air everywhere. Haunted Bookshop has an, an overlaying mustiness to it. There's like this, this dusty mustiness <laughs> to Haunted Bookshop. And you really can picture picture yourself inside a, a an old bookshop that you know that smell the smell of the old paper, you know what I'm talking about the the you walk into like a, or maybe your your grandfather's bookshelf and it's just all these you know how old paper smells. There's a mustiness surrounding this blend, like. Like old tomes that you have, you really have to blow them off to even read the letters. I mean, that's that kind of mustiness. And it's a good thing. It's good. Now, there is something specific about this blend that I had never experienced before to this level. And that is, if you take a good draw and you give a good retrohale, I believe, like me, you will find a strong, crisp, vibrant, vibrant peppercorn note. I mean, it is, it is so strong, in fact, that the first time I did that, the first time I took a big draw and I retrohaled, I coughed. Like, it was like, whoa, <laughs> that is, that is, that's there. Like, it is, it is strong, fresh, cracked peppercorn right in your, right in your nostrils. Let's do it right now and see. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's peppercorn. If you want to know what peppercorn, a peppercorn note is, you get you some Honda Bookshop, you puff on that thing pretty good, get it going, and you take your nice long retro hail. Yes, sir. That is, that is some good, strong peppercorn right there. <laughs> I'm going to do it one more time. <laughs> I almost can't. It's strong. And that's rare for me. I I, I can retrohale, I feel like, with the best of them. And this one's... That's a kicker. That's a kicker. Now, if this old bookshop was allowed to have a wood-burning fireplace in it, which probably is not a good idea, <laughs> well... You would be walking through there and you would smell this this wood burning fireplace that has been used for decades and hasn't really been cleaned out the way it should and you know that smell of that type of fireplace setting you can kind of smell that that wood burning creosote type of type of smell in the air i get i get some of that here with haunted bookshop you notice in a theme here everything's really dark musty Some of that creosote type of, of flavor. Strong peppercorn on the retrohale. And I really like it. I do. I really like it. I really like a straight Virginia. I like some aromatics. I like some vapors. I love English blends. Uh... I love Vaburs, as we call them. And that's really more of what this tastes like to me, but with some, but with some uh, good perique in there as well. 
I personally like a little bit of everything. Now, would I smoke this often and all the time? I would not, um, just because it is so much in the deep, dark realm. I got to be in the mood for that, right? Uh, me personally. Some of you guys smoke this as your daily, and that's cool. That is cool that that's your uh, specific type of favorite daily smoke. My favorite daily smokes are lighter than this, but I can certainly appreciate and enjoy this when I'm ready for this type of smoke. This would be awesome to pull out and enjoy. Now, I want to give you a word of caution on this. Some of you, um, nicotine doesn't bother you at all. You could smoke whatever you wanted any time of day as much as you wanted. You'd never feel anything. Many of us, as pipers, like me, we sometimes have to watch for that. And this is one of those blends that you may want to eat something before you really sit down for a long smoke of this because there are some nicotine ghosts flying around in this musty library <laughs> that will jump out and surprise you. So if you are someone that's potentially susceptible to, to uh, nicotine sickness, which I've got a funny story I can tell you on that. I, in my first year of pipe smoking, I was smoking GLP's Gaslight. And I'd prepared me a, a good portion of that, loaded up a big bowl for my first smoke of Gaslight. I was so excited. And I was hitting that thing like a freight train for 20 straight minutes without a care in the world. No respect whatsoever <laughs> to the blend. And I stood up after 20 minutes and I almost felt motion sick. Like I, I know what motion sickness is because I, I, and I'm unfortunately one of those that is very susceptible to motion sickness. And those that don't get motion sickness don't really off, oftentimes understand that, but it's a real thing. And I would pay lots of money to not, to not have to deal with that. Well, when I stood up after 20 minutes of, of hitting that gaslight hard, uh, it about knocked me down. I mean, it was, it was real. That, that nicotine had taken hold of me and it put me in bed for the night. And that's no fun. Like no one wants to be sick. So if you are potentially affected by strong tobaccos, just use a little caution with this one. It doesn't mean you can't enjoy it. It just means eat something first, respect it, smoke it slow, Maybe don't smoke it quite so long the first few times to kind of see how you're going to do with it. And then everything will be fine. So we're talking with Haunted Bookshop. We're talking that chocolate raisin bread aroma from the tin for me. We're talking about that turning into this musty old bookstore. The smell of creosote from the wood-burning fireplace and a strong, vibrant peppercorn note on the retrohale. And this all creates a very unique blend experience that I can certainly see why so many people love. And it will be one that I love to pull out on occasion and enjoy as well. So I hope you have enjoyed this review of Haunted Bookshop. It's a special blend for a reason. I think everyone should at least try it just to experience it. And let me know what you think of this blend in the comments. And we'll see you next time.